What's happening, everybody? And welcome to the Pops and Whiz Sportscast. We're your hosts. My name is Mr. Whiskers, and to my right is Papa K. How you doing tonight, Dad? I'm doing all right. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know exactly how you're feeling. Uh, we got a lot. We got a lot to talk about tonight. And you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you. Not again. You know, we are. We we we, we talk about sports. It's a sports guest, but we talk a little bit about everything. And this is one thing that I, I, I couldn't wait, you know, just to start the show tonight. I want to get into this real quick. So, Pop K, you and I, I mentioned it on Twitter earlier today. We, we went last night and we saw Elvis in the movie theaters. Now, Pop K, just real quick, I want, I, I want to ask a few questions to you. Now, Dad, you have been a fan of Elvis since how, how long now? Like, when did you start following him? 62 years ago. <laughs> 62 years ago. There we go. We got Mr. Oopsie in chat. What's happening, yeah, Oops? Man, that's fast. <laughs> that is fast. So you've been following Elvis for 62 years, yeah. which would make you what, like nine? Nine. When you were first introduced to Elvis yeah. Presley and, and his he music. came on the scene in 56. Came on the scene in 56. So My brother and sister are ready. They, were, they, were, they loved it. But every week he had a record up, boom. They, 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 they bought it. Pff, boom, yeah, done. 45, yeah, right away. So, Pops, you are a diehard fan of Elvis. Oh, yeah. Now, when this movie was coming out and we were all talking and telling you about it and like, oh, you know, what were your thoughts building up to actually... I had none until I heard so many reviews about how great this movie was. You weren't skeptical? Uh, a little bit, I mean... Yeah. Until I saw it. Okay. My doubts have been, hey, my, da my doubts have uh, okay. been uh, no more doubts. No this, more this, doubts. This kid, Austin Butler, was unbelievable. Amazing, amazing. The best I've ever seen. Amazing. And he even sounded like him. He sang his own songs and played the guitar. The guy was unbelievable. Hmm. Now, since since uh, you know, leading up to the movie, I didn't I didn't want to ruin it for myself, right? So I watched one interview, which we actually watched, and, and again, we do apologize for coming on a little bit later than normal, but um, you know, we were getting situated, getting ourselves set up, and and, I, and I've been telling you, I watched the uh, the interview with uh, Jimmy Fallon, Austin Butler, and when I saw that, I was like, holy shit, I can't wait till we go see this movie. <laughs> And then so and then we just watched it and it is it is true like he impersonated the voices he did the singing and then he even did some dancing. The dancing was the thing that really Whew. fascinated me. Holy and shit! That's how it was. Yeah. You know, when Elvis did those moves, so accurate like hundred yeah, percent. Like yeah. if you were gonna give it a percentage. Oh, easy hundred percent. Easy hundred percent. We got Grim in the chat saying, "Told you, best fucking Elvis along with Kurt." Kurt Russell. Kurt Russell, yeah. Dude, Grim, how you doing tonight? This guy's better. You, you heard it from the man himself right here. Better. Papa K, following remember, Elvis I, I Presley seeing, 62 years. Yeah, yeah, this guy was could have been his twin. Insane. Grim, I, again, Grim, how you doing tonight? I cannot wait till you see this movie. I was literally... Floyd. <laughs> floored, floored. I got goosebumps so many fucking times during the course of the movie. Yeah. Where again? So I'm I'm 35. All right, you know this is, we, we know how old I am, right? I'm fucking I'm, I'm getting up there, right? But when when I was born, you used to put me to sleep with Elvis Presley, right? Yep. yep. So I've literally Elvis Presley has been in my life since the day I entered this world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And there was a lot, you know, as much as you think you know about El I mean, this movie so respectively done. Whoever directed this, I, I, I forgot his name. Wow. Oh. Man, are they going to be making a fortune? Oh, my God. <laughs> the movie made, what, $130 million in the first three days? Yeah, that's as Brim was saying that yeah. um, when it first God came out. God only knows it's up to now. And God only knows how much it's going to make by the time they go, uh, you know, like I said, by Christmas. With the DVD DVDs. sales. Billions, not millions. Billions. We got this, this kid's gonna be a superstar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got Oopsie in the chat saying 3,000 Miles to Graceland was a great movie. Curse Russell, Kevin Costner, classic. 
Yeah. Yes. You know, it was a great moment. But that wasn't really about Elvis. That was about uh, crime. Well, it was about it was crime. Still, it was but still. what I'm going with here is with 3,000 miles to Graceland is like, you know, these were guys that were trying you know, they, and doing a good, a good job at impersonating yeah. Elvis, doing their best. Austin Butler just took it and fucking sent it over the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Over the moon. That, Between uh, them? They weren't even close to this guy. Holy shit. What he did, studied Elvis, what he was saying on that interview, he did everything. The moves, the singing, the Playing talking, the guitar. Playing the guitar. The, even the, the way he walked, the way he moved, yeah, the, the way the, he looked at you. What Fallon said, the 56 Gibson uh, that they gave him when he was in Graceland. Mm. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah, and for those, and, I, and I'll tell you right now, I know you guys are watching us. Uh, put you know, but put it in your watch later. Go on YouTube and and check out the um, the, the the Jimmy Fallon interview with Austin Butler. I mean, holy wow. shit! I remember I, I watched it last week coming because I knew we were going to see the movie this week. So I watched it last week again. I didn't want to like okay. I just want to see like how close can this guy really oh. get? Oh. And by the end of the interview, I was like, I, I got a little emotional. You see how shy he was though. Yeah. You know, on the interview. And Jimmy Fallon just couldn't stop praising him. <laughs> and he was just trying, you know, like kind of avoid it, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But you couldn't avoid it because it was the truth. Yeah. I don't care anybody that interviews this guy. Can you imagine years ago if he was on Johnny Carson? <laughs> that was the he biggest was show. When, yeah, when, no, that was the, like the biggest, you know, if you were on Johnny Carson, you were an instant star. And it's, uh, that's like the Jimmy Fallon now. Yeah, right now. He's like a replacement. Oh, sorry, sorry about the fan. I left the fan on high there. Yeah, we will just die here from heat. Yeah, no, I got, I got, I got this. Oh, you could put, you can hit the thing in the back, and it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll oscillate. But oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, and uh, uh, Wiz will tell you I've been singing all the songs forever. In, in my day, if I was twenty-one, I could have been Austin Butler. You think so? Well, I could sing pretty damn good. Could you, okay, can can you give us? Uh, can you give us? Can you give us uh, a little? Um, uh, uh, it, it, what, do you mind? Well, no. Can we do a little? Um, well, we can go on together. I'll give you another song that I like. Okay, go ahead. That they did at the end of the movie. As the snow flies on a cold and gray Chicago morning, another little baby child is born. In the ghetto. No shit. Yeah, Poppy K. I remember. And his mama cries. Here we go. I was like, there's one thing that she don't need. Another hungry mouth to feed. In the ghetto. In the ghetto. Oh, that was the beginning. And that was the end of the, uh, the last song of the movie. Let's go. Nice job, Pops. I love it. I love it. <laughs> this man right here. I did that at uh, karaoke one night. That and... Uh, What's the other song I was did? Ooh, uh, well, that, see, it's now or never. But that was an Elvis. Of course it was. It was? Sure. Shit. Sure. One of his biggest hits. Excuse me. We got, uh, hold on a second, Pops. We got, uh, we got Oopsie saying, I have to see this new movie. Oopsie. <laughs> I think everybody needs to see this movie. Yeah. Uh, this kid is going to win an Oscar. Oh, my God, yes. Oscar. Yo, we got Grim putting a number in chat right now. $216.2 million. Okay. Let's go. Yep. Oops, she says Jimmy Fallon was blushing. Uh, the kid just made his movie career, and one movie is going to be huge. She's oh, yeah, without a doubt. Now, can he uh, keep going? You remember, and I'm not changing the subject, Matthew McConaughey, right? Yeah. Time to kill. He was a nobody. He's the lawyer. He's a good-looking guy, right? And boom, he's a star. All of a sudden, you got to remember that movie: Matthew McConaughey, Sandra Bullock, Kevin Spacey, Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Donald Sutherland, Kiefer Sutherland. These were all stars. Yeah. He stole the show. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know, he made a couple of good movies after that, and uh, since then, uh, yeah. But here's the thing, is that I think with Austin Butler right now, I mean, to take on a role, even even if it's... I imagine this kid's going to do fucking amazing things, right? Because he's already... He's already... To portray Elvis Presley, oh. the king of rock and roll, oh, yeah. you're all, the, the bar's already set high, and he, and, he, and he went above and beyond. Killed it. 
Killed so I, I, you know, that would just knocked act- it out of the park. Boom! Oh my god! He knocked it out of the fucking universe. There was nothing in that movie that I saw that you didn't like. I didn't like. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, Colonel Parker, Tom Hanks did a good job. Yeah. Did a good job. They consider him for a supporting actor. Hmm. Because he played the role damn good. He had that accent. See, I uh, never knew who Colonel Tom Parker was. Well, you found out yesterday. He was yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to, we're not going to talk. I'm not no, going to no, give it away. No. no. We got Chuni Girl in the chat. Chuni Girl, how you doing tonight? Chuni says, I watched your kitty cat stream. I'll tell you right now, Stray, Chuni Girl, is it, it, it's a really fun game. Really fun game. I hope you enjoyed, um, enjoyed the content. And again, how are you doing tonight? How's everything going? Right now, we're talking about. Bob K, myself, Jay Swift, and uh, my younger sister. We all went to see Elvis last night, and I, I'm like, I'm still, I'm still like fucking yeah. oh. blown away. Yeah, I'm blown ready to, away. I'm ready to watch Aloha tonight. <laughs> right? I, I, I'm, I, I, watch, I, watch, watch the Elvis Presley like YouTube videos start skyrocketing. Again. Now, the one thing I didn't know, I don't want to give it away, that Colonel Parker said he was responsible for the satellite video thing. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, but again, you know, how the movie was being done. Yeah. Again, and we don't want to give anything no, 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 away no, no, for no, no. those of you that haven't seen the movie. You gotta go see it. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, I, I think again, and you we we, we are not sponsored or affiliated with anything no, like that. No, but this is just fans. coming from a fan base here. I believe that this is a must see. Yeah. Whether you wait, whether you see it in the theater or you get it on HBO Max or you wait till the DVD comes out. Holy shit! Will you be floored by this? What's the DVD I'm gonna be, It's gonna be in the billions. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you, Papa K. Towards the end of the movie, like I said, I had I, I had goosebumps the entire time. Uh, at least six different times in the movie, and towards the end, I literally had like tears coming down my face. Yeah, and I don't. I rarely get choked up. No, but especially a guy that I you know follow forever. Now I didn't start following. I was nine, right? Yeah. It was my brother and my sister who were older than me. That continued to buy his records. And then, obviously, Brainwash, if Boom. you want to it, heard every song. Every week, I was had a 45. It was number one hit in like two days. No matter Amazing. what. Amazing. Yeah. Let's see. We got Oopsie saying, you shine on Dave, uh, you shine on Dave Mason song, Manny. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In a way, I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Have you changed your smile? <laughs> what do you say? That was, we just disagree, by the way, folks. Yeah. It was a song from the late 60s. Yeah, Uzi says, that's my favorite song, you know, that you do. Yeah. Uh, he said, we just disagree. Chuny Girl saying he was a singer, right? Who's that? Elvis Presley. Oh. Elvis Presley. The king of rock and roll. King of rock and roll to this king day. King of rock and roll. So the most records, the biggest artist in the world to this day, solo artist. Yeah. Had 423 hits. 423 hits. Hits, yeah. And, 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 and you know, Chuny Girl, I don't know if you're just messing with us or if you actually asked the question, but still, I'm so excited right now, I'll tell you. Um, Elvis Presley, uh, the Aloha in Hawaii. Yep. Was broadcast, that was the first broadcast via satellite, right? Yep. yep. Billions. To this was day. The the to highest, this day. Highest yeah. views. They said 1.5. It was 1.7 billion. 1.7 billion watching so show when on, he did Aloha in 1973. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Ah. He was at top form then. You know, he was still uh, slim. It was after that. I don't know what happened with the weight. Mm-hmm. But he was still slim. Damn good looking guy, obviously. Yeah. Had the voice. Never lost the voice. Even when he got heavy. He oh. never lost his voice. Yeah. Vocals. One thing about him. Incredible. It's Incredible. a shame, you know, Incredible. that he, uh, you know, passed away from uh, a heart, uh, he too, a heart too many attack. pills. Yeah. yeah. Well, he was taking pills. You saw the swipe of pills in the movie, right? Well, again, we don't want to give it away. I'm just saying. But, you know, for but those, they, didn't, they didn't concentrate on that. No, and I, 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 I the way like I all. said before, the, they respected... The way they portrayed Elvis Presley, and, and then they told you the story of his life, it was it was very respectful and incredibly yeah. accurate. Yeah. And by the incredibly way, he was accurate. not prejudiced like some people thought. This guy was one of the nicest and generous person that made millions and gave it away to people yeah. that he loved. 
Let me catch up with chat really quick. Go uh, we got, uh, oops, she says, we got to all go out. And do karaoke again. It's been years. Oopsie also says, including Swift, she has an amazing voice. Jay Swift does have an incredible voice. Hey, handshakes. They still do it. Yep. We got uh, Grim Reaper saying Parker promoted that concert. The Aloha in Hawaii. Yeah, that, that was true? Yeah. Okay. And trust me on this one. Grim Reaper, when I tell you how accurate well, this is. Well, they said that in the movie. That yeah. He did do that. He, I wasn't sure. I, I honestly can't name one time that Grimm has been, you know, has put false information no, in chat. No, 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 no. And again, thank you, Grimm. You know, no, you, no, you, without a doubt. Fucking a right. Uh, we got Mr. Oopsie saying he promoted it and stole a shit ton of his money, Grimm. Yeah. Well, he was a compulsive gambler. Yeah. We have Chuny Girl says he sung Hound Dog, right? You ain't nothing but you ain't nothing but a hound dog. But that was dog. sung way before him. Right. No yes. Yeah. He did copy songs. He copied songs. Yeah. He, he he put a different uh, oh, yeah. a, a yeah. different oh, yeah. rhythm. Uh, he the, mixed the, rhythm the, and blues with yeah. rock and roll. The initial song was we saw it. I want to give it away. It was a black uh, lady singing with a great voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, in one song they uh, did that nobody would notice song except me because it was in the movie King Creole, and he just did a little mm -hmm. glimpse of it. Grim would be able to know yeah. it. Crawfish. That was in the King Creole. He's singing, and a black lady is singing together. And they're going back and forth. Yeah, back and forth. Oh, oh my man. God! I got. See, I've never seen his movies. I gotta watch his King movies. Creole. I have it. You, on DVD? Yeah. Oh, lend that to me. Oh yeah. One of one of his classic. I told you. That was Elvis. He didn't have to act. That was him. That was him. Yeah. But yeah, Chuny Girl, Hound Girl, uh, Hound Girl, Hound, no. Hound Dog. Yeah, that was one well before him. Well, can, can you give us? Can you give us a little, uh, a little your your impersonation of Hound Dog? You ain't nothing but a hound dog, rocking all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, rocking all the time. You ain't ever gonna rap it, but you ain't no friend of mine. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he said he was high. high. Well, I was just a lie. But he sped it up. The initial song was a lot slower. Yeah. We got Oopsie saying he was an e oh, we're talking about Colonel Parker. So he was an evil bastard. Uh, Grim Reaper. Okay, Grim Reaper. Yeah. So, what a fantastic movie. Yeah. So well directed. Again, yeah, I, I, I I can't stop. Like I, I I now I know like when Jimmy Fallon was interviewing Austin Butler, like yeah, just talking yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. Like I, I'm all. When you see uh, this kid Austin Butler from the side. Mm. The camera work was unbelievably great. You think it's Elvis. From the front, not so much. Because he didn't have that facial, but close. But then they gave him the sideburns, blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll, I'll shut up. You gotta go see it. We <laughs> yeah. are definitely promoting this movie. Oh, without a doubt. And, uh, you know, it, it was so fucking good. We got Shooter Girl saying, yeah, let's rock. <laughs> it was so good. Oh that my god! Fantastic. Oh my go! <laughs> I give it a fucking eleven out of ten. Oh my god! Yeah, I, I, I'm telling you, I haven't gotten them. I, These I guys that did this movie and this kid that probably said cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. How far? How much? We're already what he said, two hundred thirteen, two hundred sixteen. Uh, Grim said two hundred sixteen point two million. Yeah, yeah, and it's been out not even a month. Ah. <laughs> so. oh. Just w wait to see uh, what this movie grosses down the road. Hey, so it'll be one of the highest movies ever. The highest I remember was uh, Titanic. Titanic? You think this could surpass that? Could be. Could be. Yeah. Could be. Yeah. Woo! They might even keep it in the movies longer. Well, you right. Know, by the end of the night when we were leaving, that place was packed behind us. Yeah. I didn't realize yeah, it. Yeah. When the, we walked in, it was the empty. The parking lot was fucking. Yeah. Good. And it was packed. Hmm. And I'm walking up the Royal Nile singing, uh, what's the song I was singing earlier? <laughs> I forgot so, already. Oh, oh. As the snow flies. Yeah, I'm singing that. Cold. And I'm going, this is not an exit. Yeah, but so we're getting ready and to leave, right? looking at me, singing. <laughs> You know, the, you know, they have the, the, you know, the, you know, directed by, starring, and everything like that. And yeah. it, but the lights didn't come up yet. Yeah. Okay, so we're all, we were quick. sitting there waiting. Honestly, I needed a second to like recollect myself because yeah. I got fucking. Then I, I got hooked on the song, which was the yeah. final song. 
And then we were, yeah, so we were going to leave. And from where we were situated, Papa K. So we're, 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 we're supposed to go this way. Papa K is going up. Like, like, yeah. I, I, I was like, what are you going to steal the fucking yeah, film? I'm say, it looks, no exit. Papa oh, K, right. in, in his own world, he's going to be in a corner. I got it. Exactly, because I was so caught up in the movie and the song at the end. So I forgot about where the hell I was going. But again, I'm singing. The people are looking at me. Yeah. Yeah. And his mother cried. Wow. That was his last number one hit, by the way. Yeah. Trivia. In the, uh, well, in the, in the, the ghetto. Answer, the answer's already out there. In the ghetto. It was his last number one hit. Ah, uh, you know what? Hold on. Can we do this? Can we do this? Can we give a chance? Mm. Can we give a chance? Open that bad boy. You know, cheers yeah. to the man that directed the movie, to Austin Butler, to Tom Hanks, to everybody that everybody. took part in that movie. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know one thing they never mentioned? They showed the background group. But later on, you remember when he dumped the original guys? Yeah. And the guys that were in Aloha. Yeah. He introduced them. By name. Yeah. yeah. The guy, uh, Ronnie Ty. Dude, the guitar. Remember the, the guitarist? Charlie Hodge. Charlie He had the same pink. I, I, I saw the fucking guitar. I wonder if that was the same guitar. I don't know. It wasn't the same guy, obviously. Oh, A couple oh, of those no. guys, unfortunately, passed No, away. but I mean, just again, that guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like... The same harmony with me. Yeah. Yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, watch Aloha if you can. Aloha in Hawaii, you can find that on YouTube as yeah. well. Uh, the full version of it. One of his biggest concerts ever. Phenomenal. Let's see. We got uh, we got Grim saying, "Yeah, I'm uh, I'm reading completely different things than all of you about uh, Parker coming straight out of uh, Priscilla's mouth and says completely different things." Hey, listen. When you go again, Grim, when you see the movie, I can't wait to hear your thoughts because I know that you are a diehard Elvis fan as well. I can't wait to hear your thoughts on it and how you feel about it. I wonder if it hits you the way that it hit us. Because like I said, like I, I needed a minute. I kept taking my glasses off and doing one of these things, you know? <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was good. I Very got, uh, emotional oof, at the oof. end. Especially when he did that last song. Yeah, so. and then, yeah. So we're not going to ruin anything. No, you no. guys, check the movie That's out it. if you're interested. We highly recommend it. Uh, we got Chuny Girl saying, I want to see the new Avatar movie. It uh, the, the new Avatar movie does look really interesting, Chuny. Isn't that an old one, though? Avatar well, they had Avatar. Like, like 10 years ago? Yeah, they're coming out with another one, though. Okay, because I saw it on one of my movies, a uh, series that I watch, which is uh, Bones. Mm -hmm. And they were showing Avatar when it first came out, like 2014, I'm guessing. Mm. Maybe. Anyway. Hey, see, I almost want to do this right now because I have a... I haven't named that song, chat. I haven't named that song. I'm, like, really fucking amped up right now. Yeah. We get into some sports talks. Yeah, I'm thinking. I I, uh, I want to give away a free name that song. Chat, are you down? Are you interested? Again, for those that were here today in Papa K, because I played it in front of you already. Yeah. You can't. You can't name it. But I'm just kind of curious to see, like you know, maybe maybe Chuny Girl might get it. Maybe Grin might get it. Anybody else in chat watching? Should we, you know, chat? Go ahead, put a, put a, whoa, 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 because we, we, you know, we got to get into some sports talk here. I, I got really hyped up with, you know, yeah. seeing this movie. I, I, I'm ready to fucking see it again. Yeah. Um, oopsie, what's he going to see it tomorrow? Oopsie, I'll you fucking, go yeah. See it, go see it with him. The fuck yeah. But, uh. That'll be a great Christmas gift. Anybody wants to get me that, by the way? <clears throat> All right. So. Now, okay. Ha! Ha! You want to talk about who the Yankees got today in the trade? So, you and Oopsie were talking earlier as I, you know, we were setting the stream up tonight. Uh, and he, he said, so we, the trade deadline, right? Correct? It's next week? Tuesday. Next, okay, next week on August, Tuesday. August 2nd. We have the trade deadline and... Hold That's on. happening already. Everything, things, the wheels are turning already, people. Yeah. So... Who did we get? The Yankees? The Yankees got a guy that was on Boston in 2018, won the World Series, then got traded to Kansas City, who they're playing tonight, and got traded last night 
Andrew Benatendi. Benatendi. Average hitter. He's batting 320 right now. Not a power guy. Three home runs. Great defensive player. Can play left field, whatever. Right field. He's 27 years old. They gave up uh, three prospects that I never heard of. You know, the Yankees. So they didn't give anybody on the team. Officially. So this is the guy that... How, how old is he? 27, I think. Okay, okay. This is the guy that's not looking to hit the home run. He's going to be your leadoff man. Put the or, ball, he's going to be like a Brett Gardner. Yeah, put the ball in play, get on base. Yeah. Get steal bases. He's the guy this that's be pretty huge. fast. Yeah. What, what position does he play again? Outfield. Mm. Great defensive player, gold glover. So... Mm. Okay. Well, he struck out in his first appearance tonight. He's got to be nervous, you know. Oh, well, yeah, no, no. You, you, there's a transition. Last night he was on Kansas City. A couple hours later, he's on the Yankees. <laughs> and they're playing Kansas City today. <laughs> so. so, again, we will give away a free name that song. You don't have to use any channel treats. But if you want, if you want to try to guess it, chat, I got to see some ones in chat right now. <laughs> got to see some ones. If I don't see the ones... Well, came back to the Yankees right away. Michael yeah. David said, "Not good right now. Five and ten in the last fifteen games." No, they hit. The I thought you said they were out of the last I, I, eleven. I was wrong. You were wrong because yeah. you said they were eight and eleven. They were three and eight. Uh, three and eight. Sorry, three yeah. and eight. But he said it today. They were five and fifteen in the last uh, fifteen games. So, and right. um, and ironically, they haven't lost much ground. Because Boston's been terrible. The Rays have been terrible. The only team challenging right now is the uh, Blue Jays. Blue Jays. So, But you're still, uh, as far as I remember, <laughs> ten and a half games up. So. Look, at, look, 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 look at all the ones that Grim put in chat, right? Those are all ones right there. You see this line right here? Yeah. These are all ones. All right. All right. Shall we? Should we do this? One's what? Name that song? Oh, yeah. Go ahead. All right. Got to get my guitar pick. Actually... No, I can't. I can't. I can't use that one. Okay. All right, pops. You want to you want to talk a little bit more while I get the guitar? That'll take you about five seconds. Ah. He was right. It was roughly five seconds. <laughs> you should have had the plug in, man. Loud. Yeah, but see, if I plug it in, I'm going to blow out everyone's eardrums. Oh, that's okay. Acoustic. Mm -hmm. That's a nice guitar. You still have the white one? Yeah, it's broken, though. I know that. Yeah, but I, have, I still have yes, it. Yes, and yeah. So we're going to play a little bit now. Let me see if you guys can get this song. me up there. Before we started yeah, the show, it didn't matter. That was good. And oopsie, oopsie, you can't answer no, no, no. either because no. you were here. We got Glove playing in the chat. Some happy cats. Oh my God, how you doing, Glove? How's it going tonight? All right, Glove. I'm telling you not. Last week you said about the Elvis movie, you were quite wrong. This movie was amazing, Glove. It's grossing millions. They're gonna win awards, dude. They're gonna win awards. We went to see it last night. Oops, you're saying, obviously I can't partake in this holy event, the Holy of Holies. <laughs> Led Zeppelin, the House of the Holies. House of the Holies? Let's see, Chudy Girl saying, uh, Beach Boys. No, Chudy, oh, no, it's no, not no, Beach no. Boys. No. Good guess, though, good guess. 
Oh, Grimstain, oddly enough, I don't know it. Wow. All right, Papa K. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second. Before, before, before we give it away, does anybody else have any guesses? I'll play, I'll play it again real quick. You know what? I'll take your word, Pops. I'll take oh, yeah. your word. No. Dude, Glove. I've been following Elvis Glove for 62 years. This kid was un-damn-believable. And again, Glove will tell I never you. Never saw anything like it. When we watched it before we went live, uh, we talked about it before. Uh, Austin Butler did an interview with Jimmy Fallon. And again, uh, we are not affiliated or sponsored or anything like that by no, no, any no. of this. But uh, this, this, this movie needs talking about. Oh, yeah. We're not pushing the movie. And yet we are. Yeah. Because oh. it, it, he, he was too damn good. The whole movie. Directing, uh, you know, him doing his steps, blah, 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 singing. Phenomenal. Oh. You think it was Elvis on stage? So, All for right. those that want the answer to the song, put some more ones in chat. If you want the answer to the song, and then Papa K. Yeah. If we get, you know, if we get, if, 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 you know, even if they do guess it, yeah. you care to uh, assist me with it? Sure. All right. Let's see. We got Uzi say, I want to take your Bermuda Bahamas. Come on, pretty mama. <laughs> that was Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Beach Boys. Why don't say it's a tuning girl put Beach Boys that in chat? Big, last big hit, by the way, number one hit. Glove Clan is asking a hint, and he says, was it an Elvis song? Of love. course. It was. It was an Elvis song. Yeah. Uh, yes, you're very worthy adversary, Bob. <laughs> All right, Connery. Take it easy. Grim, Grim, Grim is giving up. He wants to know. Okay. Mm. It was one of his last biggest hits. One it of his great. last biggest hits? We're it not Okay, so Grim, we will give it up, but we do want to give Glove Clan a chance to answer. He's too young. You don't understand. Like, okay. He said he's like... I don't know, in his 20s, right? Well, here's the, okay, we're not, we're not talking about ages here, right? No, but no, 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 the no, thing no. is, is Glove Clan knows a lot about older things than, than, okay. than you would, than you would, okay. see, I give him credit because he know, he, he, he's got, he, he's like a library of information as well. All right. When it comes to classic stuff. So, we'll give it, we'll give Glove, Glove, do you want to partake, do you want to take a guess? At what song I'm playing right now? <laughs> and you are right; it is an Elvis song. And by the way, how song. is this playing? Any uh, on a scale of one to ten? Yeah, I like it. I give it like a six. But I'm prejudiced. I give it a six. Nah, I give it an eight. No. Don't forget when this song was done. He had a multiple band behind him. But I give it a little bit more. That's another thing. It's faster. Faster? Oh, yeah. There you go. I can't believe you learned this that fast. See, we got Glow saying pretty good. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, I'm a decent. Like, I'm, I'm all right. I'm all right on the on the on the guitar. On the rest of me, so. All right. So you guys ready for it? You guys want the answer? Here we go. Good. Papa K. Go. I'm 
me my temperature rising I'm higher than my soul so inspired this morning I woke up and went online I was like how, how do I learn how to play this song yeah and it's, it it's actually a very hits yeah, yeah it's a very suspicious mind burning love and uh, in the ghetto mm. I did try to learn suspicious minds earlier uh, I, I got uh, yeah, a little was, bit yeah, what, I got a little way if you watch it how fast they do it it's cool yeah, that's one of his biggest famous songs they love to do on stage all right. Let and me, American Trilogy. Mer oh, my favorite of all time. American yeah. Trilogy. Let me put the guitar away for a little bit. I'll be right back. I'll be back in five seconds. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. What's the scoring Yankee game? Currently, the Yankees are tied with the Royals 0-0 zero zero in the top of the ninth. You gotta be kidding. You gotta, like, do, like, the Elvis, like, yeah. I don't have a lot of room to do it, so don't mind. Like, you know, I don't, I don't want to like put my ass in Papa. Well, that was another face. thing he did. You know, Elvis Hat was a karate guy. Yeah, yeah, and uh, he used to do those moves. And this kid did it, the same thing. Ah, great, great actor, man. This guy is wow. You're talking about. Oh, <laughs> again, yeah, about, we're, still, uh, we're stuck on it. No, no, it, it no. can't help it though. Can't help it. No. Can't help it, man. Good looking kid. God bless him. I hope he has a great future. Mm -hmm. Not that this is only, you know, great movie. I hope he continues to act and hope they do an Elvis too. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know how you follow this, so. I know. No. You know, I mean, we. They actually did his whole life here, so I don't think they could be a part two. We got Oopsie said, I'm watching the game, Pop. It's very boring right now. No score. Top of the night. No score. No score. This is Kansas City. I hope they do a walk-off in the bottom of the night. That's the only thing I get off for. We can't can go on together. Suspicious minds. We're suspicious minds. You can't lose to this team. Sorry. Actually, I got to ask. average 2.1 runs a game. I don't mean to interrupt you, but yeah. right now... How do you think, Pops and I, with our, with our Elvis impersonations. Oh, God, we don't want to know. What are, you know be, be gentle, be gentle. No, no, no. But, uh, yeah, what do you, what do you I don't do you have think? microphones. 
Yeah, yeah, you, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you, guess, you transform when you put a microphone in I got, I, I could, you know, my voice sounds a lot better. Because you really belt shit out. Yeah. <laughs> so so sorry, sorry. I'm all, like, I'm gonna end up, like I said, I'm gonna end up binge-watching L, you give me, give me the, you know, let me borrow the King Creole. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I gotta, I gotta Great see, I gotta that. see, I Welcome gotta, Matthew, I gotta see it now. Vic Morrow, Carolyn Jones, who played... Morticia in the Adams Family. Oh this shit! Woman, really? Yeah, this one, yeah, she was really good looking, and she was. Uh, this was way before Adams Family. Oh, we got Broski in the chat saying hello from Fairhaven, from the Cuzos and the Broski. What's happening, everybody? We hope you're having a fantastic time over there. Is he oh, in yeah, he's in Fairhaven oh, right now. Nice, oh, nice. Oh my God! Is that with, uh... Hope you guys got the camp by... Tuck and Santa? Is that where they usually go, right? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. okay. Hope you guys have a get, you know, campfires burning, I imagine. That's probably cooler up there than it is here. I hope so. It's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You got hit with rain today. It's fucking human as hell. The midi was uh, 87, and the temperature was like 87, so it was sticky. Let's see, we got Chuny Girl saying, Enjoying myself a mojito drink. Cheers, Chudy girl. Cheers, I, I heard of mojito. Mojitos. That's the one with the mint, right? I think that's the one with I the mint, right? I don't know right, the ingredients, Judy? but I've heard of it. Cheers. And remember to always drink responsibly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like me. <laughs> hey, we're sitting down in a studio game room. I know. I'm gonna we're responsible. <laughs> oh, sure. You know, it's not like you just punch the hole through the hey, door or through beer, a beer five, can out the window. Yeah, you know, I've been good. Which, by the way, to my family in Fairhaven right now, if you haven't already, we were talking about it. Check out the Elvis movie. Broski, I know you have your issues with Tom Hanks, but now he played a villain. You got to see this movie. It was good. It's amazing. Uh, what, amazes, okay. what amazes me about the way he did his accent. Yeah. That was damn good. Yeah. And yeah, I look like him. Uh, it was, it was, the cigar, was the hat. Hey, it got, it got a little heavy. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Let me catch up. We got uh, Glove Clan saying, apparently Elvis' last album still sold really well, uh, providing he was still, no pun intended, a king. Always a king. Always. To this day. To this day. Every Glove. channel on radio, Glove, says he's the king of rock and roll. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah. We got the uh, Oopsie else. saying the first subway series since 2015, the Yankees get swept. Why you got to bring up bad, yeah, bad, no. bad dogs here? Games. They Why you got to bring up bad, bad, bad dogs here? Oopsie. Now. We got Brosie saying Anne Marie's 70th birthday today. Right? Well, he's got it in the chat. He says Anne Marie, 70th birthday. Oh, I thought it was 801. 801? I thought it was August 1st. Mm-hmm. I got it wrong. Anne Marie, happy birthday. We hope you have a fantastic time. I think I got it right. I think he's wrong. Well, oh, maybe but because, because it's coming up, but we're doing the yeah, show Monday, right now. Monday. So, an early happy birthday. Yeah. Cheers. We hope you're having a fantastic time. If I remember and, correctly, uh, it was August 1st. You know, And we're sorry that we couldn't be there to spend time with everybody. I was hoping it was. Phenomenal boy, uh, uh, um, birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. 70. You catching me, Marie? <laughs> We got over here, oopsie, gifting a tier one sub to Mr. Blue Monkey. Oh, my. All right, what does that mean? Go. Oopsie has gifted a sub to the community. What's Thank you so you? much, oopsie. You are, you are a gentleman and a scholar, good sir. And th- yeah, yes, you're a very worthy adversary. You should go on TV and do Sean Connery. <laughs> really? And I, I, mean, I, I think really I kind of look like him a little really bit, right? good. Right, a little Wait. bit. No, you don't look like him at all. No. No. I'm starting to go gray like him. Oh, wow. <laughs> you remember when he came back as James Bond? He was like, they did his hair beautifully because he was already bald. So there. should I should I be like 007 for Halloween? Oh, right, right. Chat, chat. Should I be 007? Not, nothing. Uh, oh, away from the subject. But yeah, can, a, I could keep the beard though. I just you know you know we, we, we got to dye everything. He and, never had a beard though. 
As James, oh fuck, no, oh, I no, ain't no. shaving this shit no, off, no. man. I look, I, I, I would look weird without this. Trust me. What's the name? But again, Bob. thank you, Oopsie, for Don't gifting that it. sub, man. You, you, you uh, again. Yeah, you're, you're amazing. We, you, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you, man. Uh, let's see. We got. Uh, let me. Oh, I gotta catch up here. Mm, it's hard to breathe. I can't get it out of my head now. <laughs> so, what? We got, <laughs> Wait, hold on a sec. Holy shit. What? Now we got an oopsie over here subscribing. Currently on a four-month streak. Oopsie. What's he doing? Thank you for the sub, man. Thank you for the four months. Thank you again for all the support. The love and support that you give this channel. What did we just tell him about spending money? Yeah, well, you know what? You don't listen. It's hard to breathe. <laughs> Sorry. Oopsie, thank you so much, man. Cheers, cheers. Cheers. Cheers to Mr. Oopsie, who once gave birth to a seven-foot man while dunking over Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> so the Saturday Night Live, it's a Saturday Night Live. Broski, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's a Saturday Night Live skit. <laughs> Broski says, say happy birthday to Anne-Marie. I did that, Broski. Ask him if it's Emory right. says thanks. <laughs> Was it August 1st? Am I is right? It, is it August 1st? I think I'm right. Bow, 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 you know, I don't forget bow, birthdays. Bow, bow, bow. August 1st. 818, Melissa. 712, my mother. 127, Lila. Sean, 418. You, 619. Jackie, 622. Uh, who else? Danny Corio, 7-Eleven. I mean, while, while we're at it, let's put our social securities in there, too, Pops. Hey. Uh, Sherry, 9-Eleven. <laughs> Stephanie, 916. I know. We get it. You don't forget birthdays. I think it's Maybe eight. some people don't want their birthdays shared right now. I think now. it's 8-1. 8-1. Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yes. Ah! I think August 1st is oh, your oh, actual oh. birthday. Let's see, we got Oopsie saying, you're going gray, bro, you're going white. I mean, there's a lot of things happening. Uh, and Chewy Girl come and say, what about the meatloaf guy? Meatloaf. It was great. Yeah? Oh, my God. I don't he think I listen to a lot of meatloaf songs. Can you sing all night, baby, baby? Sing all night, baby, baby. <laughs> he was good. He had two major hits. We included the voice of Phil Rizzuto, the Yankee announcer in one of his songs. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mm, pardon me. Pardon me. I'm trying to think of the biggest hit he had. Not that one. But he had another two big hits. Uh, it'll come to me later. All right. So the trade deadline is Tuesday. August 2nd. Yep. So the Yankees far, making moves. I think the Yankees were the first. I didn't hear anything else today. That, that's what I'm curious about. Because, again, don't forget, we have... Uh, the Grim Reaper from Minnesota. Grim, has the yeah. Twins made any moves? Uh, you know, with, with well, the trade the mix, deadline so coming I up. I think they're going to be buyers, not sellers. You think you, you think they're going to be picking up guys? Yeah, I okay. think so. Well, they I'm they curious want. to see what Grim says here on his they, thoughts. The teams they're going to uh, to meet. Kansas City has another guy they want to get rid of who's on the team today that I saw. Good right hand in Merrifield, I think his name is. He'll probably be gone. He's been with them for seven years. Damn good hitter. But he's on a team that's 21 games on the 500. Mm. Mm -hmm. They're going nowhere. Not this year, anyway. They were expected to go somewhere, but, you know, came out strong last year, played 500. But this year, they're, they're uh, 39 and 59 right now. 39? Oh, man, that's, that, yeah. that, that's right. It's over. They're not going nowhere. They're not making the playoffs. We got Love saying Meatloaf looked the same for, like, 20 years. I so remember him well. He, yeah. he, found, he must have found, like, the fountain of youth. Yeah. Yeah, Shit. I think he, uh, I think he lived to almost 70, you know. And he was sleep all night, baby, baby. Sleep all night, baby, baby. That was one of his songs. So if you don't remember. We got, uh, oops, he said, Paradise by the Dashboard Light by Meatloaf. You recognize that? I gotta hear it. Mm. By name, I don't know. But I know he had two big hits. Of course, there is plenty more conversation that we're going to be getting into. 
Uh, we have, uh, again, Papa K and myself, we're going to be facing off in the Home Run Derby Challenge, right, Pops? What's the record look like right now? Just I think uh, I tied you, right? I think you tied 10 to 10? Yeah. Papa K. I don't know how I did that. You keep grabbing guys uh, by uh, random. Well, you know, you're Chris, giving me a shot. Well, no, but here's the thing. It's not. It's not just giving you a shot. Well, then I should do the same thing. If you do that, I should do the same. So there's no advantage. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So like when we do a random pick, and I'll say, right. I'm, if, if I tell you, pops, I'm going random on this one. I'll do the same. Then you'll do the same. Yeah. Then I'll probably lose. <laughs> She's so optimistic, this guy. I don't know where he gets it from. You know, I, I mean, you, you, you freaking, you, you've been, we're, we're tied. I'm pissed off the Yankees lost two straight to the Mets. By the way, they couldn't hit a goddamn beach ball. They, first game, right, Judge, remember I called you? Where's Sweaty at? Sweaty, Sweaty's a Mets fan. Yeah, yeah, first uh, game, Judge hits one 427 feet. Rizzo, next pitch, 420 feet, or whatever. Yeah, when you told me, you got all excited. I didn't get yeah, yeah. And ball. then, uh, what's his name? Uh, who's pitching for the Yanks that day? Uh, oh, you said Montgomery. Montgomery. Oh, Montgomery. Yeah. And then yeah. it was Tyone, right? Tonight it was Tyone. I guess he pitched good. It's no, no score in the night. This is the game the Yankees got to win. A walk-off. Uh, he gives up four runs in the bottom of the first. And he doesn't last till the third inning. Pitches two in the third. He's taken out of the game at 71 pitches. He's stopped. All right. <laughs> Last night, we didn't watch the game. Obviously, we went to see Elvis. Yeah. And uh, Scherzer was pitching great. So was, I think it was Domingo Haman. Okay. So he gave up two runs. Glaber ties it up in the top of the eighth with a two-run homer. And then they lose in the bottom of the ninth on a walk-off by Marte. <laughs> Guess who? I don't know what the hell Boone is thinking. He brought in Peralta again. Peralta has lost three games in a row. Coming out of the bullpen. All right, hold that thought one second. Let me catch up right here. Uh, we got uh, Oopsie saying, that's the songs you're singing, uh, the song that you were singing. God, why, Pops, why? Uh, Glove Clan coming in saying, well, the Guardian just lost another game to the Red Sox. No! Glove! Red Sox ain't going nowhere. <laughs> They're at best uh, two games over 500. We got Wild Man Dave in the chat oh, saying, God. hey, oh! This is yeah. This is this is the the culinary artist over here. Wow, man, Dave, how you doing tonight, brother? How's it going? All right, right now I'm not hungry. Yeah, talk about some food though, Wild wow, Man, Dave. Let's see what we can do, this poor man right here. <laughs> it's on the breeze. Sorry, sorry. So I've been playing a song all day. It's stuck in my head. And you know, like when you okay, when you know when something's stuck in your head and you just it, 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 it's got to come out. It's got to come out. And then sometimes it's like burst. It's like, ha! Oopsie, give us a score to Yankee game. I'm sure you're watching it on Yes. Oopsie just said Yankees win. Hey, Google. What was the score to Yankees game? The Yankees won 1-0 today against the Royals. Would you, would, do you not trust us? Of course not. What the f Remember I said let's do a walk-off? Because it was... Uh, Pops. Top of the night was no score. I said, "Do a walk." We're gonna have to have a talk. I'm Oopsie, afraid. we're gonna have to talk a talk. Who got the winning uh, RBI or whatever in the bottom <laughs> of the night? That's all I care about. They won. Let's see. Uh, Glove says, but they basically have the same win loss record. Okay. Ooh, ooh, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh no! So Glove is saying with the Guardians and uh, the Red Sox. Yeah, they are like two games over five hundred. Aaron Judge home run. A walk off. The judge. 39. It's judgment day. Twenty-one away from Tyne Bay Brew. <coughs> and I apologize. I am very loud right now. I do apologize. I'm just. I'm very, I'm very excited. I'm very He's excited. Unbelievable. I'm having MVP. a good day. If he did, if his average ever went up, he'd be triple crown since Miguel Cabrera was the last guy. For all of yous out there wearing headphones or earbuds, mm. I apologize. We got Wild Man Dave said, I'm going to make a pop of K later this week with my homemade apple barbecue sauce. No, oh, thanks. Yeah. 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 You, see, you see what you do to this man, Wild? Wild Man, do you see what you do to pop I mean, He has to look away. He's, he's, he's talking about he's like, barbecue. 
Something in the way he cooks. That was the Beatles song. All I gotta do is think about it. Well, something. Something in the way he grills. <laughs> you know uh, Paul McCartney wrote that, right? You know that we're hungry now. <laughs> we, we know wish... I believe in hope. No, no, I was going to say, wish we could eat somehow. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Uh, the Big E, he did that pretty good. <laughs> you know what they never called him, which they did in the movie? EP. Yeah, never called him that. Ever. That Not I that we of. know of. That I know of, and I followed him forever. Mm. I never heard that. But they were given, as you heard Austin Butler say mm. uh, in his interview with Jimmy Fallon, that they were given archives of like going way back. Yeah. So we got, oh, we got Kylo Ren in the chat. What's happening, man? Hey, Wiz and Papa Wiz. Papa K. Papa K. Oh, whiz. What are we talking about today, Kylo Ren? We saw Elvis. It really, we, we talk. We, we're sprinkling, we're sprinkling some sports in here and there. We will do the home run derby challenge, but we went and we saw Elvis last night in the movie theaters, and it just we can't stop drooling over it right now. It, it was incredible. It was incredible. I don't know Kylo Ren if you you know if you're a fan of Elvis or if you're familiar Maybe with you any of his music, but. It was so. It was so. It was such a great movie. Yeah. Glove Clan saying, "Just don't ever listen to my Beatles impressions." Lol. Well, <laughs> now I'm curious. I know. I know. Oopsie is a big fan of the Beatles. I was too. You're a big fan of the Beatles. John Lennon, to me, and uh, Paul McCartney, one of two of the greatest writers. You know, I ever. think. I think enough time has passed for me because Papa K, when we used to go over your house, Oopsie and I, and shoot pool in the basement. Yeah. Papa K has a. Uh, Record player? Yeah, which we got to fix, by the way. Okay. Okay. I will. I clean it up. The, uh, the big, big troll or whatever they call well, it. Well, when it comes to take care of your pool, I'll yeah. take care of the, uh, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll take a look yeah. at it. Yeah. But I remember, and this, and it killed it, it killed it for me for a while because I like, I like the Beatles, right? They had some. But then, no, songs. but see, Oopsie bought one of the vinyls for your record player yeah. and he played that yellow submarine record so many fucking times. Oh, that was Ringo. You played this? Oh, was it that record, Oopsie? You played that record every night. Uh, like he looped it somehow. Until I was like, was I don't want to listen to the Beatles ever yeah, again. I mean, you're thinking about when it came to the United States. I do, I do. I do. They, their songs were great, but they weren't great. You know, I want to hold your hand, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I want to hold yeah, they, uh, the girls went crazy over with the hair, you know, the long hair, which is not in, you know, common. But uh, later on, I think John Lennon wrote some great songs. Yeah. Unfortunately, that asshole shot him. Yeah. Yeah, that was terrible. We got, uh, hold on a second, we got, uh, oops, he says, Papa K is very German, off the Burt German sauerkraut and mustard, give him that, and he is golden. I have no idea where you're going with that, Oopsie. Uh, don't forget George Harrison. Pops, he was a huge key to the music. Yeah, but they never gave him a, a shot. No. Because uh, George no. Harrison wanted to write more, and they wouldn't let him. It was always John Lennon and uh, Paul McCartney on the labels who wrote the song. He didn't get credit for it. Hmm. And he said he, w he wanted to write, so, so when he left, you know, he started writing his own songs. Okay, okay. Well, that's why they all left. So we got uh, Glove Clan saying, join one of my Yakuza streams and you'll definitely hear them. Uh, definitely be sure to stop by at some point, Glove Clan. And, you know, you throw some in there, man. Just, you know, just do it. Do it. Don't forget, two of the Beatles are still alive. We got Oopsie saying, the day Paul and George left, John Lennon wasn't as good. Glove no, Clan saying, Yellow Submarine. <laughs> No, that's not true. John Lennon. It wasn't had, Yellow Submarine. John Lennon had a lot of hits. Well, I forgot which record that you you would play on loop yeah. all the time, Oopsie, but I just remember in the beginning I was like and we were shooting pool. And I was like. Well, you know, and then, you know how many hits, but and, then, and, and, and I think it was by like the second weekend, and I was like, Oopsie. 
Put that fucking Beatles record on again. <laughs> For six hours. Yeah. Gotta lose it. Alright, just back. Wanna take a break? Yep, we're heading on a fir our first break right now, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be back with the Home Run Derby Challenge. Currently, Papa K and myself, we're tied. This is insane. We're going to put right now, let's get some predictions in chat. We're going to put five minutes on the board. Who do you think is going to win this week? We're going to do best of three, four-minute rounds. Oh, my Go. Here we go, here we go. We got five minutes on the clock. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll see it. It'll appear right there up above in chat. Somewhere above, there's a prediction. Whoa, sometime tonight. Home run derby. Oh, I believe. Use your channel treats wisely. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. This is the tiebreaker tonight. Oh, my God. <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit. We got, hold on, so let me catch you up here. I already did it, my last stream. All right, I have to check that out. Love, awesome sauce, man. Paul was a better solo artist. Even Wings was a better band, in my opinion. Paul was a better songwriter. Fight me over it. Better singer, too. All right. All right there, Oopsie. Well, we'll be right back with some more pops and with sports. Get some home run, Derby. Don't go anywhere, now. The fun has just begun. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. You're watching the Pops and Whiz Sportscast. We're your host. My name's Mr. Whiskers, and to my right is... Elvis. <laughs> Papa Elvis. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I got uh, stand ovations for doing... Uh... You do a great... You know, when you sing Elvis, you really... Fun. Yeah, you do a fantastic did, uh, job. In the ghetto, and... Uh... It's now or never... All right, so we are going to real quick. We have to we have to mute a I'm few things, and uh, let me make sure I have everything Here's correctly because we don't want to hurt any eardrums already more than I do to begin with. Tomorrow will be too late. It's now or never, my love. You know I love my him. Welcome me to No. I don't think I know that one. No, 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 no. That was uh, Johnny Maestro. Uh, I'll think of it. Uh, let me. He did it yeah, Let me. Let me up the volume a little bit more here. There we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting into the home run derby of this. Oh, my God. Grim, can you do me a favor? Can you change the game to MLB The Show 21? I realize we're still on just chatting. Um, do, do, you know, I don't know. Do you still remember how to do that? If not, I can take care of it. Just let me know in chat, brother. Bow, ram, bow, bow, bow. I think again, my favorite, my favorite Elvis song of all time was American Trilogy. You know, just That's an old way. song from way back. You know, when 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 the orchestra came in, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, with the flute. He loves it too. Oh, mind blowing. Even the movie, so in practice that. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right. Flip. Want to do it? Just hang on. All right, take your time, Grim. I, I appreciate everything that you do for the channel. I appreciate all my moderators out there. And again, everybody that's shown love and support here, thank you so much, everyone. Mm -hmm. Tell me when, Pops. Now. I'm going to be Kyle Schwarber. Okay. Look at me. Tell me when. No, you do it. No, no, no. You Good won. Choice. You Good won. Choice. You yeah, won. I pick my guy. You got to pick your own guy. Ah. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good about this. Now you pick the stadium, Pops. Uh, let's go with uh, Cincinnati. The Reds. Cincinnati. Ladies and gentlemen, the great American ballpark, Cincinnati Reds home field. Let's get it started in here. You go first. I hate going first. Me too. I feel like this, you know, because I got to keep a positive mindset. Oh, yes, you got the advantage. Ha! With power anyway. Whoa! Oh. I got the advantage with at bats home runs. And Graham, just remember it is exclamation mark, set game, and then put in uh, MLB The Show 21. And again, you know, nobody else has to do that. There's just special privileges that are given to the moderators to help Papa K and myself out. Well, I focus on trying to take this man down. Bah! Yeah, yeah. yeah, he never hit so much. I'm gonna hit him all night today. Bow, round, bow, 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 bow. Bah! He's throwing me good pitches right now. Yeah. I think this is fixed. <laughs> What was that good for? Just another foul ball. Everybody now. Oh. Yeah. Hey. 
Click on. Yay! Yeah, that's yeah, I was saying that too when you beat me four weeks in a row. You beat me for a ball. month straight. All of a sudden, he's got four home runs. Who's this guy? Oh no, MLB The Show 21, Grim. Oh, uh, Kyle Tucker. Why is that not his name? Oh, no, I see. I see. Okay. But uh, <laughs> up the wrong number. It's all good, man. It's all good. Let's see. Pink Panther's on. Steve Martin version pops. We were yeah. talking about that earlier. Yeah, I yeah. know. He was in the back. He was good, but not even close. Not just sellers. Oh, this. I thought that was gold. So I thought I. I got that. Yeah. No, I just, uh, I think, oh, I did miss. I just need that's one gone. more 440. That, that's gone. I just need one more, chat. Two home runs. 440 or better. And I got wow. a 30 second bonus. Wow. Hit the ball! Ow! Oh. Yeah! That's cheating. Oh! Ma! Go! Yeah, you got a prayer. You got 30 seconds extra. They didn't count that! I know. That didn't go over the fence. Yeah, but it was seven and a half and top and down it up! That went over. You kidding me? You got Shit. 10 already with a minute 30. Ah! Whoa! I was a little late there. <laughs> yeah, Grim. I Grim, if you get this MLB The Show 21. That's the one we're looking for, buddy. Deep center? Oh, excuse Deep me. Center. Oh. No, no, didn't make it. Thought that was gonna be foul. That's gone. Is it gone? Oh yeah. Okay, I got cocky. I got cocky. This guy had like a John McClane going there. Ho, ho, ho! I got a home run. Who the hell is this guy? Never heard of him. Huh. It's yeah, weird that it's not done. Rocking it out. Keeps putting it. As I, I see you put it in chat there, man. Okay, my ability to show 21. I know they said there were issues. I can't get it to pop up the right number. It keeps putting up 2016. Don't worry about it, brother. Yeah, you got a prayer. You got 16 already. Living Down. on a prayer. Oh, we're halfway there. I swear, oh, living on a prayer, living on a prayer. I gotta beat how many? 18? You get it. Magic number. Oh, don't worry about it, Grim. I got it right here. That sounded solid. Pop a cake. Pops one out of the park. 449 feet. Oh. My. Oh, I missed. Go. Can we get some hype in the chat for Pop a cake, ladies and gentlemen? 
You guys hit nothing but foul balls. Tell me about you just hit a line drive home run that saves time. Yeah, a lot more than that. Yeah, Uzi, I think the best thing again, you can't beat uh you can't beat Peter Sellers when it comes to the Pink Panther. No. Steve Martin did a good job. Yeah, but he, he did not, a good he job. Was, he was not good as, uh, what switch did you use to turn on the light lights? switch? That's funny, it didn't work for me. <laughs> ah, the parallel bars. Keeping everything fell. They used to call me the pub lever, the parallels. I remember. Ah! I got the bonus. Papa K pops another one out of the park. Oh my God, he's getting them 430 feet or better. Where They're throwing you garbage now. I know. You still have plenty of time. No, no, no. No, you're a third of the way there. You're more than a third of the way there. You just got to take your pitches correctly. I know. I just said no. He's throwing wow. you fuck. Yeah, he's throwing you that garbage. That one's gone. If it's fair. If it's available, if it's a fair ball. It was foul. Well, Papa K hit this one so hard it just got orbit around the sun. That was a foul. Early on that one. I know. Yeah, so Grim, sometimes like when it comes to that, I know, like I, I noticed when I try putting MLB to show it as well, you, you got to scroll a little bit. But see that that's that that that's an option that I have. I don't think you get to see that on your screen. But again, we do appreciate everything you do here on the Mister Whiskers channel. Wow, that was out. That was that was outside. Yeah. That's gone. Yeah, but not enough time. Yeah, but the line drives will save you like four seconds. Yeah, the foul balls are what's killing me. You power swinging. I see your thumb. You're doing everything power swing. Sometimes with these batters, you just got to go with the regular swing and just get the right connection. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Papa Gay is going to get his 30 second bonus here. He's got eight home runs to make up. Now, remember, this is best of three. Papa K ain't out of the... This guy sucks. I've, I picked him twice. He sucks. And this was a random thing. I know. I still got the sucky guy. I got Kyle. I've never used Kyle Tucker before. You just let me go? Yeah. So. All right. Oh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, Mr. Whiskers, takes round one in the Home Run Derby Challenge. Now, of course, Papa K gets the pick first, and we're not going to go random on this one. Papa K, do you have a player in mind that you're thinking about? Yeah, yeah. Good buddy. Well, we'll go through the teams. Chat, if there's anybody that you'd like me to use, let me know uh, now. Let's go with... I'm sorry? That's all right. Keep going. Uh, who's that guy on top? Oh, Fernando. I'll take him. Bob K. He's still on the injured list. Killing uh, San Diego and him being out. Always hurt. We're going to go with Jose Abreu. Unless I see something differently in chat, this is where we're going. Glove Man says, I sure do enjoy playing Yakuza 5. Very 
uh, irrelevant to this, but I'm playing it currently, so yeah. Yakuza 5, what, what are, what are the, some of the things about Yakuza 5 that you most enjoy, Glove? Papa K, you get Ooh, to choose the stadium. I don't care. No, 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 no. You choose uh, the stadium. Uh, boss. Again, you won last week. You get to choose. Okay. Who goes first now? You or me? Well, you... No, I, I keep going first. You pick oh, okay. first, I end up going first. Okay. That's the way the game is uh, doing its thing. Okay, good. Jose Abreu is pretty good. I think he's on the White Sox. Hmm. Yeah, he's a big power here. Let the games begin! Let's see if we can't uh, just knock this out of the park here. Shit! That's fine. Well, I guess the obvious thing would be. Shit. Uh, the amount of side content oh. uh, there is from the main one. story. So it, 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 it's a game that, like, you know. You can keep going with it. There's a lot of content. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, it's now so or never. That feels pretty deep. Though. Yeah. Wow, you're going straight ahead. That's three home runs straight. Because next week we'll wow. be here yeah. too. We need to beat Pops to gain early. Oh, that's good. We need to beat Pops to gain early. Alright, alright, I like where this is going. I know it's a sports I game. A you know, very Elvis based. Uh, that's not. Listen, oh, that's I'm just gone. That's I'm going gone. with the swing. That's gone. That's really sounded good. Shit! Wait, if that's it's good. Fair, it's that's gone. good. That one's out of the park, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ma! Let's see, we got Glove saying it's built around plenty of side quests in the franchise, along with being able to play cards or arcade games or batting cages or Japanese card games. I suck at playing. That's you know, not good. It's one of the things, and this is how I feel about everything. It's not about how good you are at it, it's how much enjoyment and how much fun you get out of doing it. That's gone. You, know, you don't gotta be fucking great at everything, right, Dan? No. Oh, wow. We'll make it. That's gone. Anything in left field in this game? Uh, I'll uh, take it. It's gone. I need that bonus, though. I only have 10 home runs. Only? You have a minute and change left, and you already have 11. Glove pants is among other things. 12. Can you take this out for me? And thank you. Yep. That's gone. Oh, another one. 
right, so well, that's what you got. How many? I have no idea. 17? Oh. Knuckle hearts. 16. 16, all right, that's pretty good. Watching you see exactly what I mean. Oh, yeah, baby. This block you gotta pull the wall for the green monster. I will definitely check it out, love. And this was a stream that you uh, are you currently doing, or you you, you did earlier today. Well, don't tell him everybody will die. Okay, sorry, sorry, it's just, it just, it's coming over me. One of the things I loved in the interview uh, with Jimmy Fallon that Austin Butler was talking about was how, when he was talking to uh, Priscilla, mm -hmm. was, just, just, he was going to Graceland, uh, I think the, the week or so after yeah. that he met her. And, and she said, I, I, I truly believe that the spirit of Elvis is there. Yep. Papa K with seven home runs already. And he's not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh! My! Oh! No, you don't. You're already halfway there. You got more than half the time. They couldn't find that one. Are you using, are you using the, uh, the power or the X? So I think the power swing, it, 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 oh, like sometimes it just goes too far over. Okay. You just get the timing and the connection right. It's a game changer. What, I, uh, we'll tell you this too, because I know I know the, the, some people in chat have told me that we're playing this game, the Home Run Derby, for MLB The Show 21. For those that have played or are interested in purchasing this, purchasing this game, or have already played it, we have been told that the stamina bar does not exist here. So you can utilize the power swing, which is the square button, or the X swing, the normal swing, which is the X button. My apologies there. And the uh, thing is, though, sometimes I'm noticing that the power swing is just the way to go. I haven't used the power swing once tonight. It's all about the timing. It's all about the timing. It's the same thing with cooking, like when you make your Manny burgers. It's all about the timing. We all know how Papa uh -huh. K seasons his burgers. With the precision and the timing of everything, how he flips it. Just like we know with Wild Man Dave, when he's making his wraps, when he's making his concoctions and stuff. Are you kidding me? There's a timing on when he puts everything together. It doesn't just go into a jumble, it doesn't all go into a bowl. It's a timing. And it's what makes the things that Wild Man Dave make special. It's one of those things. I, I've tried making your burgers, Pops. Your cheeseburgers? Yeah. And you've told me all the seasonings you put on it. You told me. You even told me how to time it. But mine don't taste the way yours tastes. Ooh. Oh! Ma! Wow. Oh! Papa K takes round two! I can't believe I got that one, but that was the last Ooh, week. Oh, wow, yeah. See, I'm telling you, this is the button right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That power swing, they go too far sometimes, and if you don't have the timing perfect, it's a foul ball every time. Right. Can we hear it for Papa K right now, ladies and gentlemen? He takes round two. We're going into the third and final round of the home run derby challenge. All right, I'm going with Judge. I'll let you know ahead of time. Papa K's already got his pick in. He's going with Evan Judge. 
Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yankees. New York Yankees. Still, still plays right field, right? Well, Dad's playing center a lot. But. Center field. Center fielder Aaron Judge of the New York Yankees. Papa K's taking him. Now remember, this is the 2021 MLB yeah, the show. Runs out. Not bad. We might break wow. uh, Maris's record. That'd be major. Can I pass him? I already picked him. All right, Papa K. There you go. I don't care. Tomorrow, my dream to play. It's now or never. Okay. Pretty good pick, Jim told me. My long way. All right, you picked the stadium, Pops. Why? Because you're the winner. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Cleveland. Glove Clan, looks like we're going to be taking a stop over at your home stadium. Are you a Cleveland guy? Oh, come on. Come on. You ever forget it happens to me. I know. Who was the comedian that said that? Forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Progressive Field, here we go, Glove. We're taking a peek over here. You go right first. Yeah. And you have who? You have, oh, Jim Tomey, wow. This is a random pick. I know, he's a damn good a power hitter. I think he was on the juice, but. Uh, it looks like, I knew this was something that would possibly pop up, so if you're seeing uh, the emotes in chat, look as the lettering. I know I saw um, that they, they, they were working on some technical difficulties. So, you know, we, we, we saw the uh, the alerts worked earlier when uh, Mr. Oopsie did it, but uh, it, it, it could go back and forth uh, just just for shits and giggles. I want to see if it pops up the same for me. And do you, do you see that as a happy cat in chat? All right, here we go. You know what's another song that I love by Elvis? Go ahead. I tried playing it today, learning it on the guitar. I didn't look at any videos or anything, I just... But you really need a bass guitar for this song. You know where I'm going here? Thank you, Lee. When you put your arms me that around me, yeah, I food? get a fever that's so hard to bear. You're giving me fever. Yeah, three people right now will make that a hit. So who you say? Uh, who, who originally? Would that was that? Was that an Elvis original or no? No. Okay. So who did it first? Pops? Peggy Lee. Peggy Lee. Do you remember the year? That no. that song came out? No. Alright, so then did Elvis do it second, or he was the last one to do it? No, I think the McCoys did it, the group uh, that did it uh, before him. He did that on the Aloha, but the McCoys were a group that came out in uh, the 60s. They did a song called Hang On Sloopy, and then... Hang on, Sloopy, Sloopy, hang, hang, hang on. on. What? Pay attention. Listen, got I can words. take a pitch because it's actually saves you time to take a pitch than hitting a foul ball like that. Oh, you got possible six home runs already. Yeah, and you got the bones. Bah! Bah! 
this guy had power, but I think he was on the juice. Shit. <coughs> I'm good. That was another one of my favorite songs by Elvis, though. Oh, yeah. I think he did that in Aloha. And uh, he did that just to, you know, get the girls crazy with his movements. Hero! When you kiss me, hero, when you hold me tight. Hero! Ooh, in left field, I think you got it. Hero, through the night. Captain Smith and Bowen at a rare and mad affair. Oh, yeah, that's foul. When a daddy tried to kill oh, him, said, oh, Daddy, oh, don't you dare give him a fever. <laughs> when he kisses, real way holds me tight. Here! Here! And I don't treat him right. Now you listen to my story. And here's a point oh, that yeah. I yeah. have yeah. made. Yeah, right. you got As we're born to give you fever. Be fair and hide and sing the grave of giving me fever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one either. Here! Holy shit. So to any Elvis fans in the chat, what are your top three favorite Elvis songs of all time? Can we hear them? What about you, Pops? Top three American of all trilogy. time. American Trilogy. American Trilogy? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jailhouse Rock. Jail, okay, American Trilogy, Jailhouse Rock, what else you got? Uh, let's see. Viva Las Vegas. Viva Las Vegas! Our friend uh, Danny Correa does this one great. Oh my god, he does. He eats the pitch, the perfect know, he, pitch. He does it. You gotta get... Gotta get him on the microphone for karaoke. Can't. I tried like for ten years already. I think that's your last shot, and you got what fourteen? All right, I'll take it. Fourteen home runs, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what Papa K can do with Aaron Judge. Said American Trilogy, Jailhouse Rock. Yeah. All right. I, I think three for me would be American Trilogy, definitely. Fever. I love the bass line in that uh, song. I know, that was in my favorite song. That he did that done. No, no. I just, I love the bass line in that song. It's And I got to say, because uh, I love the chorus to, to this song. And it's one of my favorites. I tried learning it earlier. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. That was me. Yeah. And we can build our Never dreams. Never get this guy right. No. On suspicious minds. Over and over and I know. Drop by to say hello. Would I still see suspicion in your eyes? Here we go again. Asking where I've been. Asking where I've been. You can see the tears I'm crying. Don't you know? 
Caught in a trap I can't walk out Because I love you too much, baby Don't you know Why can't you see What you're doing to me When you don't believe a word I'm saying well, don't you know? <laughs> oh, we got to watch that together again sometime. Yep. Maybe the bones. Otherwise, I'm done. You get hit in the fucking wall, right, Phil? See? Another foul? Be None. patient. That's solid contact right yeah, there. Yeah, if it goes over. Everybody, that ball is gone. Way late. It went over that right field. Way late again. To a fan that now will see you. Way late again. Three fucking in a row. This hey, bitch just me take a bitch. I can't. I don't have enough time. You're rushing yeah. everything now. I see. I know, it. but he's, he's pitching me outside, and I can't pull the ball. Every fucking pitch is way too late. It's over. Don't have enough time. If time will not move you, I can make it stay. <laughs> Sound of love shall always be. Be no name. Got a morning. Make us realize this game is over. It's over. Yeah, I can't wait. I suck. When you walk away from me, I'm really bad. There is no place to put my hand, except to shame my house against the game that rises over. Okay, I know, I know, I know I'm getting carried away. Papa K. Um, he left us. He, he's using the restroom right now. We're going to go on our last break right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I have finally taken a fucking lead this season. Can I get just a little bit of hype? It's been like almost two months. I, I Actually, I don't think I've had a lead at all this season. This is my first lead of the season. Yeah. Yeah, you, and I'm never going to win again. I suck. I really do. I see you abuse the power swing. No, not the first time. I, I, I kept in the ball foul. I just have no timing right now. I think If you, I get it back, maybe. I don't think so. We'll see what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay. Yep. We are uh, a month away from uh, football. Mm. Yep. That's right. And we're going to be getting into some conversation there, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere, Matt. The show ain't over yet. Oh! <laughs> Matt! Go! We'll be right back.
And we're back, everybody. You're watching the Pops and Wiz Sportscast. We're your hosts. My name's Mr. Whiskers, and to my right is Papa K. Another walk-off tonight, from what I heard from Aaron Judge. Another walk-off home run. And hold on, before we get any further, um, Grim, you still with us tonight? Can you do me a favor if you are? Can you set the uh, set the game to just chatting, please? If so, I'd really appreciate that, brother. If not, just let me know in chat. You can just put a simple, like, put a two. Two, we'll make ones are yeses and twos are noes. And, you know, if you can't do it right now, just throw a two real quick in chat. I can take care of it myself. But, you know, you had said, what did you would talk about it, Pops? What? What were we just talking about? Judge. You, you want to mention, yeah, you said judge. Yeah, and then when yeah. we were on break, you had something that you wanted to bring up. Yeah. You ever forget? It happens to us. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, he, uh, again, another walk-off. He didn't have a walk-off with the Yankees till this year. I mm. think he's got like six now, if that was the case tonight. We didn't see it, but I heard that he uh, had a walk-off home run. Well, we do have something, actually. Something I can show you. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going we're, we're, we're gonna to play around with some stuff real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you don't mind. Which is... Okay, so what I want to bring up here, and I believe I put it in here, so this way, just to make things a little bit easier. Uh, hold on a second, don't mind the clicks here. Yeah, the defense for the car. All right, so what we're gonna do yeah, the here? The defense for the car. Uh, pause. And we want to take that all the way down. Pause. Stop playing. Stop playing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is... Papa K, I saw this on TikTok earlier. I don't know what you're doing. No, I know. I'm going to bring this up. I'm going to give you the glasses, so this way you can see this. This was... Uh... This was a rather insane thing to happen. And I just want to make sure I get it right. Okay. So this is what we're going to do here. We can go on together. <laughs> I can't stop singing this song. I can't. A suspicious mind. All right. So let's get a little bit of this. We're going to bring the, uh, the, sh the share screen up right here. And what we're going to do, we're going to show Papa K. This is, this is something insanely wild that had happened. Uh, you know, it was it, 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 one of those things that were just like, it, it's right. such, no, such a fluke, such a fluke thing to happen. And again, of course, we hope that uh, as we watch this, we hope that he's okay. All right. So we're going to transition over here now. All right. So Papa K. I want you to take these away from me. Now, tell me, can you can you see this screen okay? Yeah. Can you see can you see baseball fine? Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. Bah! Oh, he hit God. the umpire. Oh, throw. I saw that play. You saw that play? Oh uh, yeah. This was. This was in a, uh, and again we hope that the the umpire is okay, but and again they, 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 they show it again right here for you. Caught him right in the side of the head. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, I remember the play. You see it okay right there. He never expected it because he, you know how far he was from first base. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, he, he had quite the distance right there. It was just a bad throw by the uh, shortstop, I think, right? Oh, and thank you so much, Grim, for uh, for taking care of that, man. I appreciate you, bro. But uh, yeah, that was that. I, I I'd never seen anything like that happen before no, no, in baseball. No, no, no. You know, again, a complete accident, of a course. complete complete fluke play. Like you know, again. Uh, when you're playing shortstop, right, and you have such a limited amount of time to get that ball over to first, and, he and you can see he was he, he was running with it, yeah. and grab, and, and, you know, it looked like he grabbed the ball. Was, was and the umpire's looking toward first base, yeah, because he's looking at the plate. 
He's not looking at where the ball's coming. Mm -hmm. And he gets hit right in the face. So, you know, again, we hope that the umpire is okay. I'm sure he was. Yeah, yeah no. That was a while ago, no? They said, well, it, it was one of the things that popped up. And it's one thing that, you know, it listen. I wanted to showcase it tonight. Because, you know what, again, these guys are professionals, all of them, the umpires, yeah. um, the players themselves. Everybody yeah, on the field. It's you know, but like, you know, e every once in a while these slip-ups happen, and, it, you know, it's just, like, you know, and even you could see it uh, uh, on the shortstop's face was just... Oh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. 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 Like, fuck, man, I, my, my bad. Nobody wants to get hurt my on the bad. field, including the umps. They are part of the game. Yeah, again, again, Grim, I, you know, of course, and Papa K and myself, we always appreciate all the work you do here, man. Grim was saying you're welcome, because he, he changed it over for us. Okay. So, but yeah, you know, it's one of those fluke plays right there. Where, again, anything can happen. Not even not even the umpires are safe on the field, you know. Just like, with the ball and everything like that, you know, kind of going into that, it's, you know, it, it, you know what a rem oh. I'm good. You good? Yeah. It just reminds me of, again, like with the pitchers and, and not being allowed to use a little bit of the tack. Nope. Like. I bet the umpires get hit in the, in the field in the course of the game. Hmm? You know, they're part of the field. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God bless you. God bless you. Oh, there'll be more. No, go ahead. Yeah, go on a sneeze. Yeah, there'll you know, be more. He, he's going to have a sneeze attack right now, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, God bless you again. <laughs> but yeah. that, it is something that, yeah. It, it happens. It, it, it it's is. Part it, 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 it's it's part of the game. Ball hit up the middle, it's second base up by hits his leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When in hockey, when a puck hits the ref or the linesman. But it was one of those. It was one of those moments when I saw when I saw this you know this play right here. And yeah. again, like you know, this is not what the intended <laughs> outcome was meant to be. But you know, I know that you know in the past I have been quite hard on umpires and things like yeah. that and referees. And, you know, but you know, granted, they do have a job to do, and that that, that that that's part of the risk that they take being on the field as well. So again, we hope that you know he, he's okay. How far back was that? Do you know? I forgot, but I'm sure he's okay. It's an old one. Pretty old. But it was one of those things. It, it, it popped up on my TikTok. <laughs> And, you know, you know, when you see plays like this, it was like, remember remember the one with the pitcher? And he, lined, he throws, and then a bird just exploded. Yeah. Like, you don't... don't know. The, 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 these rare things that you don't see all the time. God bless you. Yeah, I know. He's keep but, Yeah, no. I, I'll, I'll just keep talking. Don't worry. Get it no, out no, of your no, system. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Yeah. Umpires, like in every sport, they're part of the field. Yeah. Whether it's football, you know, baseball. Exactly. And, uh, you know, they, they, they do have a job to do as well. And, you know, I, I, I say this now because as, as frustrated as we all get with the calls, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And, you know, it, you know, it, it happens. Yeah. And, and, and your feelings come out. You, know, you have no ill will They're towards human. anybody. They're right, Pops? Right we have no yeah. ill will towards any None. referee or umpire. <sighs> so. Again, we are, you know, like a fan base show. We, we speak from our hearts a lot. Yeah, yeah, and uh, but when I saw that play, I was like, oh, well, no, holy shit. Even when they make the wrong call, that's why we have a uh, challenge. Challenges and replays and stuff, so, you know, again, we all, you know, I'm sure he's okay, but, uh, wow, that, that, that's got to, yeah, you know, hit that face. blindsided by a fucking fast one coming into first, <sighs> so... And this one thing, like you know, you know, of course, if allowed to do, we, we you know, we're testing some waters right now yeah. uh, to see what we can and cannot showcase. Uh, but if we, you know, if, if it's something that that we're allowed to do here, yeah. you know, we will showcase more things like that. And again, when it comes to sports, when it comes to anything, you want to try to be as safe as you can. That that's another big thing. Yeah, right but there. again, like I said. In a sport, especially baseball, the ball's hit so hard, so fast. Oh, God. The guy's hitting the ball 150 miles an hour. No, thank God. Like, pitchers that haven't got it in the face. Yeah, and the protective equipment that has been come out with, that, they, that, that they've that come out with since, like, yeah, back when, like, remember we had the, the talk, the evolution of football, but back when they were playing with leather helmets? Yeah, shit. No face guard. So... You know, even now, baseball players got all these things, you know, protecting. And, and the so, ball still finds 
finds a spot that hits them and hurts. You know, I watched uh, Aaron, uh, what's his name? Aaron Hicks. He got the whole thing right. He hits him right over here. Claude is over here. Hits him in the ankle. Damn near broke his bone, but he was okay. He got taken out of the game at the time, but I'm just saying. The ball's coming at what? Almost you know, 95 to 100 miles an hour. Yeah. And the guy fouls him. He doesn't he know where the hell it's going to go. Nobody knows. It is again. It is. It is a wonderful thing to see how far technology and everything is coming with uh, oh, protective yeah. equipment. Yeah, and it's going to keep going. And, and and something again for all of uh, a- anybody out there that uh, you know playing any sports, anything right now, like that. I heard, uh, I heard uh, was that they may not do the uh, the home plate umpire thing next year. Really? Still up in the air. It's okay, so it's still up in the air. Yeah, they may. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to come eventually. At some point, but again, like like you always said, that he's always going to have to, or he or she is always going to have to be there behind home plate. Oh, yeah. they got to call a play at the plate. Play at the plates, exactly. Yeah. You know, a balk. You never know. So. Never know. But I think it's coming eventually, which I like or dislike. If the umpires were a little better, but they're human. They call the strike zone, and when I see it, you know, the box always shows now, right? All the time. Never know. So, so if the ball misses like this much on the corner, and they call you gotta, the ball you gotta strike, come up higher for the camera. Yeah, if it, this much on the corner, either side, and they call it a strike or a ball, they don't know. They're vi- they're visualizing the plate. Yeah. And again, the plate just is like eighteen inches uh, wide, right? The, pl- the play that we just saw. Again, with that first base umpire, he was focusing on first base because, again, a lot of the things oh, that yeah, they utilize is their ears he wasn't and what they see. The face. They're yeah. looking for, they're looking at the first base plate. And they, they see look the at, foot. They look at the foot and, and they the listen for the glove of the glove. Yeah. So and most you know, of the time, they're pretty right. Yeah. No, very. You know, but you know how hard it is. Sometimes the foot is just this much. Yeah, like you know, you know it, and, he's, and he calls him out, and he's safe, or vice versa. You know, we uh, with with all the advancements that have happened in sports, and, and again, and, and more that we're going to see, there are a lot that I, I think you can agree with me, Papa K, is that that there are a lot of advancements out advancements out there yeah. that have been uh, beneficial to the sports. And then there are some that we sit there, and of course, like you know, we, we question on the show, but it it, it it doesn't come from any ill heart. Oh. Like, you know, it just comes from a, you know, the heart of a fan, and, and you guys know. Can you think, in my opinion, 40 years ago, how many games might have been changed because mm-hmm. of the, uh, you know, the new cameras and oh. the uh, the reviews that they were allowed, the challenges? Well, let me tell could've, you. Could've, it could have changed Super Bowl wins. It could have changed uh, baseball, uh, baseball, uh, you know, World Series wins. And again, it's something, and you could find our, you know, I forgot what episode it is, but we do have all, you know, for the most part, all the episodes that we've done here on Twitch, we've exported over to the YouTube channel, the Mr. Whiskers channel on YouTube. All you have to do, you literally type in the same name that you see here, Mr. Whiskers, and you can find, we have a playlist where we put all of our live streams here, and we put them there. So, you know, we, we have them all marked as episodes. Episode 1, 2, 3, 4. So you, you can go all the way back to when we first started up until now. But one of them's in there where we went over the evolution of football and stuff like that. Oh, my God. So I can't tell you how many uh, calls that could have been changed. The guy, uh, I forgot the team, last out would have been a perfect game. The umpire called him safe. Far from safe. He was Definitely out. I feel like I remember this play, too. Yeah, it was yeah. like a foot away from the bag. At least. Anyway, and the umpire laid her on the pod. This was before the challenges. Yeah. It would have had a perfect game. So, it's a, you know, just it, it, you know, things like that that happened. But they human. And again, like, you know, I, I'll try to go back to our archive of um, videos, yeah. episodes, and, you know, I, I'll try to mark that one down so it's easier to find uh, the evolution of football because that was a great oh. episode we did. I had a lot of fun with that one. I think you did, all too. All the changes? Yeah, all the changes that it made from when you started following to, oh when, God. to when I got into it. Yeah. When I was following, there was still a face mask. Before that, it wasn't. Yeah, because I remember when we when we started doing that, off the bat, you named like six. 
And then by the time we got to the show, you had like 19 written down. Oh, yeah. 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 So I will definitely try to look into that for those that are interested in watching that and one. And it's going to continue to change, by the way. Yeah. They're going to keep uh, going football. That's why they do it. Protect the players. Exactly. Because the concussion protocol. And it's going to keep going and keep going and keep going. Till, uh, you know, till it gets like out of hand. You want to call it that? We'll see. We'll see where it takes it. But right now, of course, the safety is the main thing. Of course, that's the only and, reason. Uh, again, why? Because uh, football was challenged and cost them millions for the players that were, had concussion protocol in the seventies, eighties, nineties, whatever. Now, speaking of football, we do have you know fantasy football is going to be getting back into the air. We're going to the month of August, which means, Bob, okay, are you ready for fantasy football? Hopefully I do a little bit better. Well, I know you got you know you know last season you got stuck like with the with, with the yeah you were you were the last in the draft. Hopefully this season you get a better draft. Probably get in the middle. I might have a shot. I will say this though, you did a phenomenal job for your first time playing fantasy football last season. Came strong at the end. Yeah, and you know you you really you really grinded at it. I don't know who to pick this year. Well, you know, I love Aaron Rodgers, but he's acting like a real ass. It's. It's something that we can all dis, uh, discuss together, people. You know, about a month away. Who right? do you? Who? Yeah. Who do you think? Well, our draft. We're going to be starting to set up. And uh, well, don't you don't have to worry about that. But I know for everybody out there that loves playing fantasy football, we're all having the same thoughts. It's it, it's time yeah. to get that mental preparation to get into that fantasy that football mindset. And uh, you know, I'm going to be on top of it too. I'm going to make sure that I help out Jay Swift. And, uh, and and try to get things uh, set up. You're definitely in. Well, how are you? Okay. I'll be here that whatever Saturday night, right? We always do it on Saturday. Well, night. well, well. I'll let you know. We're gonna find out what works the most uh, appropriate like time for everybody that can be involved. I got you. You know, we you know we don't want people to have to auto draft if they you know if they don't have to. We don't want that to be the case. Yeah. Well, you know, you think we want. Win. <laughs> well, I know we had Oopsie last yeah, season. Fucking right, right. crawled his way in there, into, there close to one, climbed his way, clawed, mm-hmm. got his way up there. And again, cheers to everybody last season. And this season's going to be another fun one. I uh, can't wait to hear how everybody else feels about fantasy football this season and, you know, who you guys drafted. We will go over some more. Papa K, before we end the show, is there anything else you'd like to add That's to it. that? Let's go Yanks. That's it. Let's go Yanks. Let's go all our Could teams. Could be a Subway Series. The way it's going. Could be a Subway Series. Papa yeah. K makes a very good point here. Yeah. And again, you know, going back to, yeah, I know, I know we, we, we keep going on with this, but if you haven't seen the movie Elvis yet, be sure to check Keep it going. out. Yeah, it please, is phenomenal, please. and yeah. I don't yeah, think you'll regret it. You will not be it. disappointed. Have a fantastic rest of your week, everybody. Have a fantastic weekend. Be safe out there, and we'll see you next week. Take it easy now. Later. Oh, my God. <laughs>